Hello guys, welcome back to the next episode of Urban Design on City Skylines Verrucchio After Dark. So last episode we finally got started on our new city and we slowly developed our new or next neighborhood. Um, as I am recording this episode, pr literally one after, sin or straight away since the last episode, I don't have a name, even though you guys may have left a comment or two about potential suburb names over here, I still haven't added it. Uh, but I will add that in the coming episodes once I go and filter through all the comments and um, start recording the next few episodes, uh, probably after this, or perhaps I'll have one more after this to come. So we'll see. Uh, but I did as I promised and over here we'll see this during the night over here We've got these uh, uh, Walkways and I've actually added some lights um, On them so during the night now they're all perfectly nicely lit up and everything so it's all beautiful I've uh, moved the seawall away a little bit so now I Guess it looks a lot better so I've, or not away, just I've lowered the seawall, so now it looks a lot better. Um, also, the big thing is also around over here. These small parks, I've actually changed them now, so they're all completed. They've been changed from the rocky surface to the paved surface, so now they actually join up with the little footpaths that have joined up this city quite nicely now. So it all works rather well. Okay, so I'm just going to jump out of this camera mode as well right now because I've just realized that there's a few little trees missing around over here where I'd like to place a few little trees. There we go. So also I mentioned that I was going to finish um, this area off with all the trees and nice little decorations and it's all done. So this whole neighborhood actually does look like it all belongs nicely. Uh, although I could add perhaps like a few little things like pedestrian crossings here and there I, I reckon uh, because it is a rather long street all these areas that have rather rather long streets so it would be nice to just add a couple of extra pedestrian crossings here and there and this uh, street as well so and in front of the school as well no we won't do that. Oh, actually, no. Let's just remove that one from there. We'll place one over here and one over here. There we go. So whenever there's a really long stretch of road, I also like to add a few um, of these, yeah, pedestrian crossings. It just allows the people to be able to cross the street at, a, like, a specific area instead of um, making them walk all the way down to the end of the street. So I think it works pretty well. There we go, a couple more over there. So now we'll see the transition into night and you'll start to see uh, how nice this new area looks and also we'll be able to see how this area, um, this great seawall over here will start looking uh, when, once the lights start turning on. So just let's hold back for a second for construction and let's just see the transition between night and day or day and night. Okay, so apologies for that. Still have a bit of construction going on somewhere around in my unit or in my apartment block, so it's really annoying. Hopefully that's not too loud on the mic. Um, so yeah, that was a nice smooth transition from day to night. And now as we come over here, as you can see, this area is lit up beautifully. Excuse me again. Okay, apologies for that again. Hopefully that's the last of it for quite some time. Now, what I was thinking is we have a bit of demand for residential and commercial now. So that's what we're going to be focusing on this episode. 
I'm thinking uh, we can start perhaps planning out our next neighborhood around over here next to this highway. And also we'll start working on our first little commercial main area around over here with perhaps a certain specialization. So we'll get straight into it then. Um, let's just leave that. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, we're going to jump and grab ourselves an avenue. And we're going to work off an avenue over here. So let's see, if we go off by, say, around over here, I reckon, that would be a nice area. Because I don't want to place too many avenues necessary close to each other. Um, and I still want to keep these uh, areas still relatively uh, well split apart. Because now these avenues are going to be the main uh, roads that we're going to be using when utilizing to get around the city that whenever we're not on the highway itself. So over here, let's see. Does that be enough? No, let's push it a little bit closer. Okay, so say somewhere around to there. And now let's see. We can also add something like this around over here. Push this out to there. Maybe even closer. There we go. Now I'm just hoping that this isn't too close to around over here because I'll still like to add some things around here. So maybe it's a little bit too close. Um, if I were to push it out from here, that might be a little bit better. On second thoughts. Now hopefully that drilling isn't too loud. Ah, this is so annoying. Alright, anyway. There we go. I'll just join that up to here and put it across like that. I think that's good because it will give us enough space around over here to potentially build something as well. And if we might be able to squeeze in something even between the highway around over here. Who knows? That might be an idea. There we go. That, that doesn't look too bad, I think. We can definitely, definitely work with something like that. Now, this neighborhood as well, we're going to stretch this forward a bit, out to, say, around over here. And, or even further, why not? If I push this out to here. Now, should the connection be straight across here, across the highway? It would make it easy to make a connection. That's for sure. However... I'm not necessarily uh, sure if that's exactly what I want to do. Um, so I want to create a beach front over here as well. So I'll make uh, this head off in uh, this direction, at least by one block. And we'll be able to create an avenue which goes across this whole entire beach section. Uh, now it's a bit dark to see what's going on around over here. So... I'm thinking what I'm going to do is, first of all, let's just start placing a park around over here. And with that place, perhaps we can actually start building the initial area for our next neighborhood. So if I were to just jump that across over here like so. And that should be perfectly parallel with one another, I think. So... If I just drag that across in this direction, and I think that's good. That's four. No, that's five blocks. So let's push it up by one more. There we go. And with this sorted like that, um, maybe not there. Let's add a, another one of these parks around over here. Can maybe add over here a very small little commercial strip like that and while we have that sorted like that perhaps we can remove these three and what I'll do is see these are all little designing techniques and little things that we're doing little fillers we're gonna put like a pedestrian crossing and now we're gonna add a footpath which comes across like that okay perfect so now what I want to do is extend this road through so that's roughly around the same distance. Uh, so another three. There we go. And now let's just see if we can push this through at a rather even rate like that. Even angle. 
And now that we've been able to do that, I'm thinking it might not be a bad idea to continue that sort of a, an angle and um, just develop, general development across in this vicinity or this area. So let's just have a look what we can do. If I push this out to there, what does that create? Okay. And now if I push that out to there, does that... It really doesn't interfere much. And we are starting to go a little bit uphill here as well, so I have to keep that in mind. That doesn't look too bad. Let's create another little short segment then. I think this area... I've put this area a little bit too close. Let's see. Just out of curiosity's sake. Push this out to here, and now let's push this out to here so there's a little bit more of a gap. And if we build it... Yeah, you can see that's a completely different angle, so... We'll continue. One side will be slightly smaller residential, but that way it creates a bit of variety though, I guess. So, it's not a problem. If I build that across out to here, we'll build another one out to here, and let's build that to here. We'll just join that up there. And so, this little neighborhood will actually start to take shape rather quickly and very nicely, I reckon. So... With the demand that we have for residential, I'm going to start zoning up this whole area now. So, just like that. That's all nicely done, and we'll fill out this little area too. However, uh, quickly, before this completely builds, let's just remove that, and no, we'll keep that. We'll keep that as it is. Um, we're going to continue our little thing that we've been doing, and let's make a little connection like that. And we're going to remove this building sorry uh, just make a little bit of a shop over here so we're gonna add a few shops here and there as well all right so as soon as this area fills out we'll be good I think um, another thing that I think might be nice to do is find a way to connect the footpath around here so got this now developing over here so what I'm going to do is remove this little section of housing over here. We're going to jump into our footpath unit, our tool. And now we're going to go a bit of free-forming around here. Like so. That's fine, I think. And in this little section, we'll add a little bit of a smaller house. And just join it up like that. Or actually... Even better, without the uh, clipping. Let's do it without the clipping. Might be able to get it slightly more centralized. Like that. Yeah, it's not too bad. Now, but now this, it's completely affected this, and I don't like that. So, we're just going to spin around. a bit of a turn like that. No, I don't like that much. So let's just remove this. Don't need that there anymore. Let's build ourselves. Ah, oh, where are we? Here. This is where we need to be. So just grab it from there. Drag it to say somewhere around over here. Now from here we're going to jump across out to say somewhere around over here. And now we're going to make our way to join up with this pedestrian footpath like that. That looks a lot better. Okay. Now we're going to come back around over here to this little commercial strip zone or commercial zone that we are thinking about. Now let's have a look at our districts. So we've got our normal districts. And then we've got industrial specializations. Now we want to go into commercialize, uh, commercial specializations. So this is tourism specializations. Uh, tourism specialization dedicated uh, dedicates the commercial zones to serve the tourists by providing hotel accommodations, restaurants, and other activities. Causes noise pollution attracts tourists. And this is more leisure. Uh, district specializes in leisure activities, have more vibrant nightlife, and many options for daytime relaxation as well. 
causes noise pollution commercial zones are active 24 7 so this is going to be a leisure zone and this is a tourism zone dedicates the commercial zones to serve the tourists by providing hotel accommodations restaurants and other activities so we want more nightlife around here I think and then tourist zones around over here let's just quickly jump into our parks and recreation and let's just have a look tourism and leisure so they're not exactly split apart so it doesn't really matter they're all kind of all the same okay uh so let's see because the beach i mean tourism i essentially think is commercial zones tourists by providing hotel accommodation restaurants and other activities but this leisure specialization district specializing leisure activities that have more vibrant nightlife and many options for daytime and many options for daytime relaxation as well so i'm assuming that leisure specialization would be better for things like beaches and uh, clubs and all that however tourism specialization offers more hotels which is also good so this area will be more based on the tourism area yes so uh, let's just quickly zone this little area up there we go and we'll see what we do when we start focusing on knowing what goes where. So, because first, we're kind of learning here. So you guys can also leave comments. Don't forget to leave comments, please. Because uh, you commenting, if you've already experimented with After Dark and know what what is what, then... Um, it would definitely help me. So essentially what I want to do is over here, I want to create more of a beach. So what specialization will be better to like have beach because uh, suit the beach because I've got all these we've got the jet ski rentals the fishing tours and all that all that sir being gonna all that stuff is going to be here on the beach. So I'm assuming by my thinking that this would be better served as the uh, yeah this will be served better as a as a tourism specialization area all right so now that that's done i'm gonna to have to start filling in this in with commercials uh, areas and all that i mean and roads obviously but also we're gonna to want to start being able to service this area so bus station is a hub for a bus traffic and exit as a designated place where a bus or coach starts or ends its scheduled route okay so I was thinking of we're gonna have some sort of a hub um, however this hub uh, is going to be connecting to where okay so I've got a general idea I'm going to want to uh, make sure that I can connect these highways as well yeah so these highways are gonna connect to somewhere here as well where this bus station is but what I want to do is kind of zone this out nicely so uh, I just want to see what we can do if we keep uh, no so what I want to do is zone I'm going to pause the game for a second because what I want to do is do another three so that's two lots of four three lots of four four lots of four five lots of four six lots of four and i'll do the same on the other side so that's one unless we add a park here so if we do add a park one of these there's nothing else really fancy that we can add is there no so i'll add this one over here facing that way okay and so Oh, is that the right way that I want it? Yeah, I think it is. I think that should be the right way that I want it to face. Yeah. Okay, so we've got six lots of four. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, and six. Okay, so I think that's perfectly in the middle. So that will provide us with a decent 
spot or location in order to be able to provide ourselves with uh, a pretty much a guide of where we want to build our bus depot and it fits in absolutely perfectly look at that we got one gap over here and one gap over there on, on either side so because with the gaps essentially what i'm thinking is we're gonna also want to connect some sort of a metro line system so i'm gonna just place that there we're gonna cover it with trays on either side now this is an all new building that looks pretty good i really like that we're gonna need a straight at the back as well seeing that we have parking or maybe not maybe they can just drive around we'll see all right so first of all what i want to do is we're going to have to build some one-way roads so one-way roads essentially are here just to guide ourselves to the actual highway so this is going to come here this is going to come to here let's just change the direction of this okay so we're going to add some trees or something like that on either side over here or maybe i can create some sort of a park or something like that that's one by something and around here at the back oh you know what let's i think we have to extend these roads out even further let's just do it like so change the direction and we'll build one of these roads which cuts across at the back around over here i think that doesn't look too bad yeah that suits well okay Uh, we have unlocked the metro, haven't we? Yes, so we have. So essentially I'm going to want to have the metro station facing in this kind of direction. This area is going to be very busy and have a lot of tourists. So if we have one metro station like that and another metro station like that, it'll be fine. But we're not going to place it now because it costs too much and we're not building the metro, uh, metro lines just yet. Um, okay, so... Next thing is, we're going to have to extend these highways through. And we don't have any ramps here to look out for, so that's good. So what we're going to do is extend this out a little bit further, I think. Yeah. So we're going to extend this out by at least another 8 units. There we go. 8 units in length. Let's make sure that it's straight like so now we're going to start going down and make sure it's at 12 unit limit which is our perfect number there we go somewhere around there perfect it's actually slightly longer than the other but doesn't matter do we have our guide over here we don't necessarily have our guide over here let's just build this road out to there now we've got ourselves our guide so, oh, is that correct? If I build one here, yes, it is correct. Okay. So let's just re remove that for now. Uh, so one of our highways is actually going to have to be over here. And the other highway is actually going to have to be over here. So this highway is going to... Let's see if we can just push this out by two units and this as well out by two units so that it can kind of be even. There we go. It's a little bit better. And with this now, we're going to push this through to, say, around over here. This one as well. Out to here. There we go. Now, we're going to join this ramp up to here. This one as well, out to here, a little bit more. There we go. Perfect. And now we just need to change the direction of this ramp. Hello, just change direction, please. It's not that hard. There we go. Continue this across. There we go. That's all nice and done can continue this across and this is going to join up to here so let's just quickly remove this because now I'm going to want to see if I can add another block 
which we can. Another roadblock that joins up and comes across in this kind of style. Now from the highway, I want to make it so that it's like that. And from here, this is all still within the city limits. So we're going to push this out to there. This ramp might have to change. We'll see. And now with this, let's see what we can do. This out to here, but six units by six units. No, six by seven. So I might have to reduce this just a tad to say around what was this 11 units yes yeah? so I'll reduce it by 10 oh by sorry by one unit to make it 10 units so now from here to here that's 7 by 8 so that's not right let's increase this to 9 units now and from 9 we should be able to make it 8 by 8 close it up to a 90 degree angle I think it was closer last time 91 by 0.4 90 perfect wow what a guess there we go so that meets up like that and it can enter into this area now we just have to upgrade this road to be a one way please like like that okay that's not a problem and now the next segment is the next problem so if I were to come from here and yes we do have a problem with the ramp the ramp connection is in the way so we're gonna have to shorten this up a little bit so I'm gonna make this just by three clicks or oh, we'll see what we can do and this now remove this highway segment let's build this out to here and where's it 10 by 10 it is so 90 degrees perfect and now just join this up straight no it's not gonna happen so we've got a fair idea of where we need to go S to somewhere around over here to here and then join up what's that 89.9 I don't think I can get that any closer than that so that's pretty good I'm happy with that we'll just change the direction there we go and now these highways are joined we'll just reconnect this highway as well and now the simple part of making this ramp like that one slightly longer than, uh, longer than the other but it's fine this actually we can modify this we don't have to make this so long we can make it only three units like the other one and now and hopefully this can kind of improve the uh, the change length uh, the change uh, lanes the changing of lanes over here we'll have to wait and see how it it turns out yeah there we go a little bit better already so that's not too bad oh we got to pause the game for a second because we've got to change the direction of this there we go that's all done we're gonna have to power these buildings up as well this area has now pretty much filled up, so we're going to quickly fill this area up as well. Okay, uh, make sure that this area has water. So we'll just extend this through. Ah, that was crooked. And we need to continue the simulation because we're going to run out of money otherwise. <laughs> but that's the general idea. So what do we have over here? And you're able to expand as well. Wow. Car wash. Jubilee. I think they've added added car washes and and gas stations into the game. That's really, really good. Really, really good. Good job, Colossal Order. Giving us things that we want. Okay, so let's see what we can do around here so wow look at that straight away a big tall building crest resort this is pretty nice to see and another big tall building and they're only 
So then the specializations, uh, specialized commercial strips. So, uh, so we won't be actually getting any um, leveling up. So if they survive, they survive. Simple as that. This uh, gas station needs to change as well. Jubilee, so they're exactly the same building. We've got our first tall buildings in this city though. That's pretty cool. I must say that is pretty cool. I just join that up over here, so hopefully all this ends up getting power. How much were we paying for this? 1500 Oh, that's okay. We don't have any bus lines operating just yet. But we will in the near future. We don't have any traffic lights here. No, we don't. So all of a sudden you can see that this is becoming a bit of a uh, problematic zone. Definitely very much a becoming a problematic zone. So we're going to have to modify this perhaps or provide other alternative alternatives so it's the exiting so we're just going to have to get rid of this in, in, industrial area from here so we'll slowly start doing that and what I'll do is we'll start bulldozing a bit of this and we'll start bulldozing a little bit of this and we'll go into our to our industrial area over here and we'll start perhaps expanding around over here so let's see what we've got we can expand in this direction so whatever we've removed we can replace over here with something like this a little bit more over here and zone it all up there we go too easy and then we can further expand after that as well if we necessarily have to because I don't want to expand I mean work too much on this I really don't care about this industry until at a later point um, what I'm gonna do is want to focus mainly on our farming industry uh, before we start working on our proper industries first I just kinda also want to get this place up and running Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm going to continue with the uh, commercial zones. So these are low density and we're already getting towers. So I wonder what we'd get if we went full on high density. So I'm just going to zone up another couple more buildings around over here. We've got no demand for it. Uh, our residential has filled up. So I'm gonna, just going to keep zoning a little bit more residential in. There we go. And perhaps we can do with the crematorium. We haven't added any crematoriums into our city. So we've got a crematorium around over here. So... Oh, sorry, a cemetery over here, but we don't have a crematorium. So a crematorium on the opposite side of the street would be nice, perhaps. Got a couple of commercial buildings here. Yeah. It's always a lot more efficient this way. Oh wow, they've colored. I don't know if you guys know this, but I've just realized this myself. I think now that oh, we're in the uh, medicinal healthcare, you can actually see that it's all purple to highlight it, and now we get can we can actually see the vehicles too. I don't know if this was actually done before. So now they're kind of implementing this like um, like the public transportation tool. So that's pretty cool. Very very cool. Alright, so now that that's done, we've also got a taxi rank, so taxi depot. Now, I'm not sure how many taxi depots we're going to actually require. Uh, taxi depot works as a garage and a repair shop for the taxi cabs between work shifts. Okay. And then we've got little taxi stands as well around the city. So that's good. For now, let's just uh, continue expanding. I'm going to push this out so wait hold on let's remove that let's push this out to here this as well we're gonna push this out to here we've got a few extra wow look at that that's fancy it's all the same company Tyrrell Tyrrell something that looks a very fancy building I like that this shoreline is gonna look amazing and as you can see with all the lit up uh, walkways over here. This is really, really nice. 
Now, I'm just going to quickly, while this is all starting to look very nice, let's just upgrade this uh, road right here in front of them. There we go. Let's make it all nice and fancy right now. I'm going to now zone up another building, a couple of buildings here, and we'll see what we can do with including perhaps some parks or something like that. This is a nice busy business area. Um, so what I have in mind is over here on the other side of this, I'm going to add some of these parks that we've been adding. The small park, yes, for sure. At the small park here and at the small park here. Now we won't be able to actually join these together now, will we? Let's just give it a shot though. This from here to here, please. No, not going to happen. So I'm going to twist them around. Make them face the other way. Make them face this way. And this way we will definitely be able to get them to face each other. So if I can just get another one. There we go. And this way we definitely, definitely will be able to get this done. Okay, so just connect that across over there. Beautiful. I hope these buildings have slightly different colors, though. That's one thing that I'm hoping for. Let's see how we're doing with electricity. I'm not sure around here. So just in case, I uh, will build another wind-powered turbine. How are we doing with the water? Water is easy. No problems with water. So we've got another complex developing over here. And now let's see. If I were to build that, that would leave us with a 2 and a 4. Okay, so we could potentially fit in like another street in somewhere. If we were to do that. And... If we build it over here, somewhere around over here, that would create, uh, or even over here, no, that's too far. Over here is perfect. And that would leave us with a three gap as well. So out to here and join up, perfect, okay. So um, what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna do a carbon copy of the parks. If I can, no, I can't. Ooh. Okay, so let's just remove this. Um, so that leaves us with two. Another... F uh, hold on, let's try to do this again. So it leaves us with a true gap. Remove this row just for now, temporarily. Remove this row temporarily. Uh, join this out to there. Remove that, 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 okay. Now, can we join this up nicely? Yes, we can. Okay. So that's not too shabby. Now, I'm going to have to place this park. Now we can. So facing the right way. Now, the next park. Oi. Let's see. This comes out to here. And if we place this park... That leaves us a gap too big. So it has to be one closer. I think it's that. I think it's there. Yes, it is. Perfect. So I'll just place that in. And from here, we're going to just do that sweet little perfect little bend like that. So it's all nice and even. Now technically, we're not using anything what's this convenience store did we have a place oh we did place things here oh okay that's fine i'll just connect you with power like that for now there you go all is well now what are you complaining about no enough educated workers okay if you're complaining about no enough educated workers then we need to increase our education but we do have a pretty good education. Like, what do you need? Ah, uh, you need high... We need highly educated workers as well. So we're going to have to start thinking about uh, including a university. Um, 
So because this is pretty much like a main hub, I think this would also be served well to hold a university. But we can't afford it, it's 93k. The university over here would fit in perfectly. Yeah, absolutely perfectly. And we could fit in a metro on either side as well. Or even on the other side over here, I put a university here. But then we'd have to change things up a bit. A university right in front of this bus hub. Don't think that's the smartest idea, to be honest. Um, we will need to start connecting things together. Uh, we haven't extended the water through. So we'll have to do that. Um, yeah, I definitely want the bus hub to be on the avenue, that's for sure. So I'm just going to quickly upgrade this as well. Uh, should we add some bus lanes here? Bus and taxi. Yeah, I think so. Just in front. Just at the front over here. We'll do it like that. Wow, we got some hippie cars around here. What the hell? This is new. New buggy. Okay. So just in front of the bus station or over here, we're going to add, yeah, the avenues with, with, um, yeah, these bus lines. Because this area is going to be very, very busy and I don't want the buses to be getting caught up. Although I'm thinking these two avenues can be like that, but the one right in front of the bus station we can change. Maybe. Let's just have a look, because I think it might look a little bit better like that. Because then it, the cars are still stuck utilizing the middle lane because of the previous roads. That's what I'm thinking. So we'll keep it like that. Um, I'm going to place some nice little trees around here. Uh, let's see, let's do these trees on either side. There we go, I think six is a nice number. Three kind of splits this up evenly. And we'll jump in and put down a couple of bushes down the bottom as well. on this side as well okay that looks really nice now we'll be able to ex extend these parks as well um, I'm really considering of placing the university at the back of this terminal or next between the highway Ah, uh, the highway's in the way, just by what, one block, yeah? That's a shame. Oh well, we'll place it here and we'll put some offices. We'll place some offices behind. I don't think that would look too bad. It will just mix things up a little bit. It might look okay. So we'll save that for the university. I think we need some more residential population growth. So, what I'm going to do, uh, do we do, yes, we will we'll do both sides. So, do four, 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 another four, another four, and another four. There we go. So, this area is now starting to develop nicely. These guys are complaining. So, maybe we can take out a loan. I mean, we're making money very fast, so we'll just hold back for the time being. We'll just hold back. We'll see how we go. And we need more demand for industrial, so I'm going to remove this little segment and this little segment as well. And we're going to place a lot more industry around over here. We've got a bit of crime over here. Yes, we do. So I might add a little bit of a police station. 
just here and now that we've got a police station here let's expand this little area like this so that we can start encompassing a bit more industry as well uh, paint bucket please there we go paint bucket now just do this like that this like this and this like that and hopefully everything is oh, not yet we'll connect everything to the water network there we go that operates over here let's just expand this properly to 550 there we go chuck that across that wasn't even chuck this across like that this across like that there we go that's all good so we've got a lot more now industry gonna be moving in over here now let's continue to expand over here I'm not sure how I'm going to fill this whole area in, in between over here. I'm thinking the best way would be with avenues. How are we doing with... Okay, we still need money to save up for our uh, university. I might start actually placing some offices around over here. So is this actually even? Four, 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 four and two. No, it's not. So it's not a problem though. And we can make a gap in between some offices. Should we? Or should we not? No, we'll just leave it as it, like that. That should be fine. We'll place some trees as well. Do some soundproofing from the highway. There we go. Just for this little segment, we might need to hook up some power. Uh, we're going to need to join this up. And as you can see, I'm all over the place at the moment. I'm absolutely all over the place. Wow, hotel. That looks nice. That's a nice looking hotel there. That's for sure. Now, should we? Yes, we should. We're going to extend or expand to the other side here as well. Like that. Okay, perfect. And as you can see, oh, there's only a few cars here and there, sometimes using the right lane. But they're predominantly using the left lane. In this little strip in between, because obviously these are bus and... Ah, police uh, services can use these lanes. That's cool. That's very, very cool. Okay, so I've got a lot more tall buildings in now. I'm not sure if I want to place tall buildings next to tall buildings here. Do we make this slightly more unique or what? Does this actually show up in our specializations? Yes, it does. Tourism is actually going up. And once we reach our population, I'm gonna we're gonna definitely have to add like a a cargo. Uh, not a cargo, a um, harbour port around over here. And I might extend this out a little bit further. Just so that everything can kind of nicely interconnect. So, let's see. If I were to, if we were to... build another road like this across it would leave a gap in between and I don't like leaving these gaps in between um, so what we can do is work off this and use that as a guide and uh, perhaps just make this join up no we can't we are unable to do so Unless we pretty much just modified this area up a little bit more. 
We can create perhaps like a footpath in between here. That's an idea. So if I were to create a footpath, pedestrian footpath obviously, uh, from here to here, from here to here, let's just do that. Let's Before we do though, let's just remove that now. If I am to build something like that, that can be utilized by pretty much anything or anyone. Now, I want to keep these as smooth as possible, but at the same time, I would like to create a road which goes... Like this, in, in this kind of fashion. If we join that up to here, let's see what we can do with this road. If this will join up nicely and smoothly, yes it does. Okay, that's fine. That's very good. That's actually working out. And we'll push this across. Perfect. And we do have a little awkward spots around over here. And we can change this up a bit. So over here, we can utilize this with parks and trees, I reckon. These little edged areas. Do we have the sunken plaza? I think I did have that asset still available. I didn't remove it. Uh, maybe I did remove it. Ay ay ay. Doesn't matter. What I'm going to do is we're going to do some experimenting. We, let's see if what happens when we do these tall buildings like this. There we go. And we'll leave some of these areas out. Now I'm thinking... Should we have not made this into an avenue? There'd be a few too many avenues around here though then. Got our first office building built up, which is nice to see. So let's go... Please name... Not main me. Name me. There we go. So that needs to be named. This little area... And we still don't have enough money for a university, so let's just increase the speed now. Let's start saving up for this university. Um, this area over here. This might be actually easier to do on this side. So if I just join it up from there, that leaves us enough of a gap. Pushes it out to there. And... Nope. This out to here. Yes and no. So let's just remove that. Let's make this go straight out to here. So a little bit shorter by one. If we go in this direction. Also, it creates a slightly awkward shape, but it should be fine. Okay. Let's go to our footpaths tool. Let's see. Where are our footpaths? Uh, 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 here. So I'm just going to just drag this along out to here. Drag this footpath out to here. Now I'm not using bicycle paths much because um, I will include them sooner or later. But as you can see, paved paths are good for bicycling. Only bikes are allowed to use these paths. So only bicycles. However, uh, pavement path uh, is... They're utilized by everything. Bicycles and people are able to utilize it. So I see there being more... <coughs> excuse me. More benefit of using uh, pedestrian paths uh, than the standard paths. So that's the reason why I'm doing that. Can place that like that. And let's see what else we can do around here. I think we're going to have to upgrade this avenue. While we can. Let's just upgrade all of these avenues up. I think it will be greatly appreciated by pretty much anyone and everyone here. Now, 
since this is a pretty much a fully established area now. There we go, that's all done, that's all done. This area still needs to be upgraded. Just so that we don't have to do it later on and people... It doesn't affect any buildings by any chance. Alright, so we do have enough money now. And we do have our universe... Uh, sorry, enough money to build a university. So that's what we're going to do. Um, these power lines are in our way. So let's just temporarily pause the game, remove that and... There we go. We've got ourselves our university placed in. Uh, power should be filtering through, no problem. That is all good. Uh, can continue the simulation now. So I will end up having a couple of metro stations around over here. Somewhere. I'm going to have to figure out where and how to connect them. But lots of people will be happy. Oh yes, yeah, so we're getting a lot of upgrading. You can hear the bling 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 bling. Lots of people are happy and they'll start paying extra rent as well. Um, I'm not going to place the metro stations just yet. This park area might actually, you know what? Might disappear and actually it is disappearing from here and we are going to do what now this area is not developed because we have no demand for it is that true yes it is okay so offices have developed just a few nothing too fancy they're going to require more services in order to be happy and in order to upgrade as well so what we can do is now Focus on our residential area over here. So let's just see if we can continue this little this little theme that we've been ha having going on over here. So let's see how it was running. I think it was like that and then out to here and just join it up like that. Perfect. We'll fill this in. There we go. And straight away, all this is developing immediately, which is nice to see. And I don't think we'll be able to fit in too many more of these little areas because we're getting... Yeah, this is going to be the last one. Last little area like this. So getting too close now. So let's fill in this last area with this. Okay, let's fill in some more residential blocks over here. And from here we'll start going a little bit random. Uh, we'll change up the neighborhood a little bit. And let's see, roads, we're going to need some pedestrian crossings in this neighborhood. Just a couple here and there, that's all. Oh, that actually modified this as well, or changed the... Uh, way these streets operate there we go and one more over here actually there we go perfect huh so that's going perfectly per uh, parallel with the uh, highway as well and we're gonna need to f see what we can do with oh, and we've diminished uh, all our population demands have gone that's it so now it's just a matter of waiting for it to start growing again so while we do that we've got really good income so what I'm gonna do is we're going to grab ourselves a metro station now I'm gonna build a very large metro state uh, metro system in this city so the first metro line will be right here oh, the first station that is in this city and we'll have another one right here because these lines will not meet so I'm going to just turn these off for the time being okay but they are here and they are connected so that's the thing and let's see what else do we need we are going to need to add some trees just to make this area look beautiful so I'll add just to say like 
four like this on uh, on all sides and I'll put a big tree in the middle, a big pine tree as well. There we go and we'll put a nice big pine tree on all four corners. There we go, that looks really good. Really, really good. And we won't need to add a bus stop in front of this university because, well, we've got a bus station right here. And we do have a bit of development here now happening. This is very good to see. And it's got me thinking now... No, this is all going to be office space around over here, that's for sure. But if that's the case... Over here, I'm going to extend this road over here in this direction. So that's where I need to go to. So I need to go to here. And then what I can do is make a curve that goes out by 5 in this direction. Join up here like that. And then from here, we're going to go to here and then down. No, that won't be far enough though. So from here, let's go down 12 units. We can go down by 12 units. Perfect. That's what I wanted to do. And this is going to go underneath this avenue. I don't want it touching this avenue. So just down to here. And then it's going to go back up by 12 units. Like that. And it's going to end up coming around somewhere to there. I don't know yet where. <laughs> so over here we might as well add the rest of this area with some more office space and so I'm thinking now do we add some offices into the leisure district do we get some sort of different office buildings I don't think so because it's all commercial isn't it uh, leisure specialization yeah it's all commercial based Commercial zones, yeah, it's all commercial zones. So that's fine. Alright, so we have more demand now for residents. And we have demand when we can't see because it's night time. So I'm going to continue this road out to, say, around over here. Or even around over here. To the Let's build ourselves a 5x5 five five unit changeover. Oh, that's too far actually. I don't want it to get so close to the highway. So, the, two, three, one, like that. 5x5, five five. what does that leave us with? Leaves us with 1, 2, 3, 3 the blocks is enough, I reckon, away from the highway. Okay, we can't put an avenue, oh, we can't put a road in between here. There we go, doesn't have to be always perfect, 4x4. Four four. Okay, so we'll just zone all of this out. We need to extend the water pipes through. There we go. And actually, no, this area can be removed, because I'm going to continue this out to say here, join up here, go around and we can make a little bit of a nice, no we can't, we're just going to make a nice straight cul-de-sac that ends like right there, that's fine. And, 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 and uh, I would like to add a cemetery into this area. Let's see, one right here. That's nice. I'll add a small little shop in between. We can add, or no, don't add a shop there. What we're going to do is add a crematorium right over here. And in between, we're going to add... Wow, that's a lot of bing, 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 bing upgrading. People very happy. That's good. Uh, let's see now. 
This can come out to here. We're going to start joining a few of these paths up while we can see because it's relatively bright in this area. Okay. Like that. Make this join up to here and make this... Oh, Grand City! Solar power. Third loan. Awesome. 13,000. Beautiful. Alright, there we go. And on that note, that we've achieved our next achievement, or our next goal, I think we'll end the episode here. Uh, we've made some pretty good progress. We've started experimenting and starting to see, uh, after dark, a few of the new buildings and assets that are available to us. Um, We've started working on our next neighborhood. We've imported a few new buildings like the new bus terminal that comes with the game. We still have to insert the taxi ranks and all that. But as soon as like this neighborhood starts finishing or completing up and we'll finish uh, this whole large area up, which I'm not sure if it's all going to be commercial. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Um, I'm going to do maybe a bit of a commercial mix with buildings also with... Um, uh, what shall we call it? Also with a few officers, so it, it's a bit of a mix, not all the same. And yeah, when we have all this like kind of main area done, we'll start importing our first public transport system lines into the area because um, then we'll actually be able to have like our road all our roads done in place and once all our roads are placed it's a lot easier then to start introducing your public transport system like your um bus routes because uh, you know that the roads won't be changing so the bus routes will be uh, pretty much temp uh, permanent not temporary so yeah so that's it now guys for this episode i hope you enjoyed the little progress that we made this episode I'm going to go ahead and start recording the next episode right now as well. So if you have any name suggestions, it won't be added for the next episode either. So please, guys, don't forget to leave us some comments. Uh, let us know what you think about how this, city's, uh, how this city you think is developing. If you like the uh, way the neighborhoods are kind of uh, joining up one another to one another. Um, and uh, yeah. Thanks for the support, guys, and I'll um, see you very soon. Bye-bye.